it hurt a little bit worse, and I can't tell if the chiropractor helped or made it worse. And it's 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 37 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Good morning guys, I hope that you are having a lovely day. I'm having a little bit of a rough one. We just are having kind of a slow Sunday. Um, normally we go to church on Sundays, but the girls, especially Rosalind, were so sick last night that I just didn't want to go and spread it to all the other kids at church. And Also, I thought that they would be pretty miserable. So instead we stayed home, which was actually kind of nice because I haven't seen much of Ken lately. Like hardly at all. There's a reason you guys haven't seen much of him in the vlogs and that's because right now um, we only have one working camera and like we used to kind of like split the vlogs but now we only have one working camera and he um, he's been at work like he even was tutoring yesterday even though it was a Saturday you know and he's been tutoring I think for about the last three weeks because um, with Red Fred and everything some of the students got behind um, so anyways, I got Irene down for a nap and Roslyn's doing quiet time and I mentioned to Ken that I'm super thirsty. It is really hot right now and so um, it's 98 degrees Fahrenheit which is 37 degrees Celsius. For those of you, I know we have a lot of viewers that aren't in the US so for those of you that use Celsius which is like literally everyone else, according to my car it's 37 degrees Celsius right now. Um, so it's hot. It's not as hot as it has been, but it's hot for May. And I just, I felt like, you know what sounds really good right now? A nice cold cup of iced tea. So I'm running out to just get myself a real quick little cup of iced tea. Uh, Ken is kind of working on his computer and um, getting some grades and stuff done. And it was just kind of like a quiet moment that I could get out. And I was like, oh, you know, we haven't even started the vlog today. I think I'm going to, after I get the tea, kind of try to pick up around the house a little bit because this last week I, I've i kind of neglected housework a little bit as I've been trying to get the videos out and as the kids have been so sick. So, um, yeah, off to go get myself some tea. And this is another thing. I have to do decaf when it gets late enough. If it's late enough in the afternoon, um, and it's only 11.30 right now, it's not even afternoon time, but I can't even do like black or green tea. I'm gonna have to do some kind of herbal tea because otherwise I won't sleep. I have to have coffee in the morning, but um, once it gets a little bit later on, I can't have it or I won't sleep. So hopefully I will get some passion tea probably and um, head back home and enjoy a couple moments of kind of quiet and maybe some time just alone with Ken because I haven't seen much of him this week. just got home with my tea and um, I'm not going to show you because we don't ever show the kids on the toilet but Irene just came out of her, her nap and told to she So did she come out and tell you no, she needed she to nap to or to poop? Body. She just pooped in the toilet like her diaper's clean. <laughs> herself <laughs> so she woke up from her nap told Ken that she wanted to go potty we haven't really made much of an effort to potty train her and uh, apparently she's going poop <laughs> potty <laughs> awesome kiddo good morning box <clears throat> I haven't seen you all day today so hello how are you hope you're doing well I am at Starbucks right now um, by my work <laughs> I'm meeting with a uh, senior who is trying to graduate and unfortunately is just really on the gray area. Um, and so we're trying to get this student graduated and, and off and about and so I'm meeting with them. It's a Sunday but that's, yeah, you know, it's the end of the year type of thing. So uh, drastic measures must be called for and so they have, um, here I am. So that's my plan right now. I'm going to go set up shop in Starbucks and um, Whenever the student shows up, work with them and uh, get them going, and they will do the assignments, bring them back to me at a later point in time, but uh, yeah, that's the plan. I got some work to do anyways. I have to finalize the final exam answer key. I had to think about what I was doing there. I need some coffee. That's what I need. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm going to go do that right now. Uh, let's go. Minor change of plans. Uh, the Starbucks was very, very busy, and I was like, there is 
no space here so we're at a different place called like black rock uh cafe and uh i'm gonna check to see if there's more space here um and if not i guess we'll try a different starbucks Oof. and it is seven o'clock and i'm now done uh, i've been here since like three o'clock so things are good worked out projects things were presented lots of lots of work was done on students end and on my end, um, and student is all caught up and ready to just do their final exam, and it's going to be great. I'm pretty sure they're going to pass just fine. They seem to know their stuff pretty well. And um, I had a chance to do some work myself and uh, finish up some things for my final exam, so that's good. I'm still not done. I'm thinking that I'm just going to head home because I still have a lot more work to do, and I might make use of uh, this downtime. <laughs> Uh, to try and get all this stuff done um, so I don't sit like 2 in the morning because uh, I'm trying to get my again my final exam my my uh, answer key totally done I finished a review guide and it said to be my answer key so I'm going to scan that in so students can see it and then we'll be good to go alright so I guess let's go home if you've ever wondered what I look like without makeup here it is so um, Ken had the camera last night and uh, he was really, really busy. I asked him to end the vlog, but I think that the camera died, so he didn't get a chance to do that. And so when I went to edit it this morning, I realized that we only had five minutes of footage. And I was like, people do not tune in for five minutes of footage. So, I wanted to chat about how the rest of the day went, because I didn't have the camera. Um, the girls are still not feeling great. So, you know, we spent most of the day kind of just chilling and um, hoping that the girls would feel better. Irene feels a lot better, and honestly, Rosalind feels better than she was, but, you know, we didn't go to church or anything like that, and um, kind of just had her rest, because what happens is in the morning, she seems like she's feeling better, and then by the time evening comes, she seems like she's not, so I just didn't want to risk it. Um, so it's the next morning now, and I'm going to do my makeup sitting on the floor of my bedroom while I chat with you guys because I went to turn on the camera and I was like, oh no, no, I cannot let them see me like this. Although you guys have seen me without makeup before. Um, today is going to be a little bit differently. So when you're watching this tomorrow's vlog, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be kind of trapped here today too, because if you guys don't know, insurance was supposed to come and take a look at the car on Friday um, after the car accident. I got in a car accident last week. Um, and the car is pretty much totaled, you guys. In my opinion, it's pretty much totaled. It's not, it's not a new car, you know, so it's not worth a lot. So when it's totaled, that just means that the damage done would cost more than the value of the car to fix. And so we had it assessed at a couple of different places, and um, all of the assessments said that it would cost more than the value of the car. And so when I was on the phone with insurance, she said, yeah, they'll send someone out to evaluate the damage, but they probably will just end up giving you, um, they probably will end up deciding that it's totaled. So, but it still drives, and so Ken has been driving it to work, but he's going to have to take the Dodge instead of the Camry to work so that the guy can come and take a look at the car, which means I'm gonna be kinda like trapped here all day waiting for him to show up again, Hopefully he will show up because I was pretty frustrated the other day when he didn't. It was pretty frustrating. Um, but, you know, this stuff does happen. He just adds insurance for you. But yesterday I was having a really hard time uh, because my back has been hurting really bad. You guys didn't see, I went to the chiropractor the day before. And, um, it hurt a little bit worse, and I can't tell if the chiropractor helped or made it worse, because who knows what it would have felt like if I hadn't gone, but my back does hurt pretty bad right now. Like, it's not, and it's, I'm doing pretty well, because I'm here, and I'm sitting on the floor talking to you guys, um, but it is kind of just not feeling great. And so, last night, I, you know... By the time Ken came home, I was like, I need you to just do everything because um, I, like, 
I couldn't pick the kids up. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't put them to sleep. It was so miserable. And it's hard because how much of that is a car accident? How much of that is just my pain? Because I am kind of constantly in pain right now. If you haven't seen the video over on Heidi Kim TV, you should check that out. Um, but I do, I have a chronic disease, you guys. And, um, it's weird, and I think that sometimes get, people get confused with autoimmune diseases because some days I have a lot of energy, and I can just like go, 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 and then days like yesterday, I just had no energy, which was probably a good thing because, um, you know, the kids were sick, so at least it was kind of like a lay low day. It, it didn't happen when we were like out and about, you know, doing things, shopping or running errands or trying to do something fun like go to the aquarium or the science center or something like that. It happened um, on a day that we were just kind of really chill. But uh, I was just so miserable yesterday. It was not fun. Um, oh, also I wanted to update you guys. I just saw Apollo's dog toy in the background. Don't mind the mess back there. That's one of the things I didn't take care of because I was not feeling so good yesterday. Um, I don't have the spoons. Some of you guys told me to look up spoon theory on the video I posted on Heidi Kim TV, and yes, I relate to that so much, so much, it's insane. Um, but update on Apollo is he seems perfectly fine. He didn't throw up, he didn't have diarrhea, he didn't have any neurological kind of reactions to the time he ate the rabbit. If you didn't see that video, because I think, I think a lot of people didn't realize that was us, and it went late, it went live late. I find that if I'm not in the thumbnail, especially since if none of us are in the thumbnail, a lot of times it doesn't get clicked on because you guys don't realize it's from us. Um, but yeah, uh, so it was like Apollo and it went live late. But you should watch it. Apollo ate a rabbit. It was a horrible day. Glass broke. It, it, was, it was a rough day. And um, I called the vet and they said, you know, make sure he doesn't have any kind of neurological symptoms. I'm going to touch this up after I'm done talking to you guys. Uh, make sure he doesn't have any neurological symptoms because um, that's what you want to be looking out for. And make sure he's not like throwing up or anything like that. So Apollo seems to be doing really, really well. Um, anyways, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to you guys for today. Don't forget to check out your um, Hello Box shirts. It's still linked down below. The campaign is still running. We still need to sell seven more or the campaign doesn't ship. If it doesn't ship, they just give you your money back. But um, it would mean a lot to us if you guys would check those out. And I think that it's probably one of our cutest designs. I really, really like it. So you can check that out um, down below at Teespring, and we'll talk to you tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more of a lively day, and everyone will be feeling better, because I feel like I've been hit by a bus. All right, that sound of that alarm going off means it's time for Ken to get out of bed, so I will let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Bye.